Take the next right. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get... it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Look at this junk. Nothing significant. Not my job to pick through other people's trash. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Could show some initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. This is a secure area. You all need to leave. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. We'll make sure any evidence gets bagged and tagged, sir.
Clear this area immediately. This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Cleanup starts when you're finished. Take your time. Let's go, Ralph. All right, all right. The gun store's up on Central Avenue, Cole. Are we going? Get moving, Ralph. Belts, I'm coming. Go straight over. Straight through the intersection. Go straight over the intersection. Right here. Take the next left. Turn left when you can.
Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Go left just now. Are you trying to kill me? It's the next right. You should take the next right. Go straight through. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One-of-a-kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Go straight over the intersection. Take the next left. Take the next right turn. Take it right here. You should take the next right. Up, Ralph. All right, all right. Schroeder, apartment two. That was a very... Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. Help me out. Got this, jackass. Don't worry. You search around. I keep my gun under lock and key. 
I've done nothing wrong, and until I see my lawyer, that's all I'll say. of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. How many are in there? Stay down. Stay in cover. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Wendell Bauer! Stop! LNGD! You can go screw yourselves. Why, you! Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! <laughs> Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn, watch your fire. I don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. You've got to be kidding. You fucking asked for it. There's no way I'm going back inside. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Broad daylight, a crowded street. I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings made out to Bank of Arcadia. Shell casings. These look like thirty twos. 
Advice? We'll keep the witnesses on ice until you're ready, Cole. Why don't you have a look around? The women don't find the handsome, the beast finds it handy. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, all right, I, all right. Yes, sir. it's a dead person. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu, he runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. 
Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. So Looks like next? there's something in this trash can. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Take the next right. Take the next right. Go right just now. Take a right here. Go straight over. Next left. Take the next right turn. Go straight over the intersection. Take the next left. Turn left up ahead. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Kalu! Get back here! Boy, let's take it from better days. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. 
We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalou. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalou. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalou? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalou? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years.